respect went through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Championship triple header, and it was Doug Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre, Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Melania Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no uh, evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets caught with that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice one-two there. Nice kick. Beautiful hook. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. He's got to slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight in your pace. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Three minutes remain in the round. Hard straight, hard straight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. What a head kick. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he got everything behind that kick. the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Big body kick land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He is all about that left kick to the body. Blocks the shot. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Leg kick. And he gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, nice right hand. Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, nice hook, that was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight, elbow tight, big check in it, landed it right on the chin. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his leg. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick landed there by Lee. He blocks the punch. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Got the single collar tie, and he landed the right hand there. Just misses with a left hook there. That one stuck in. Nice. Three minutes to go. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with the left hook. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And they separate. <laughs> so once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice one, two there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the title fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. 
big kick. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Nice punch, Lynn. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? 20 seconds left. Goes to the body there. Switching stances here. Missed with that attempt. Liver kick. Two rounds in the books. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon ring. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice body. Nice elbow. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Good punch. Oh, oh, that's what he's done tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Man, how good is his right hook count? Nice head kick. Big leg kick land. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Body attack, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Great punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Oh, collar tie. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively, kick block there. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Takedown defense holds up. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent.
Well, this is... Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Back to the feet now. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Big head kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. What a punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Straight right, he misses. Throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice kick. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing them with that type of intensity. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Big kick lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man. Crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds in round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying. 